Hello guys, good, actually it's good afternoon. I definitely slept in today. It is currently New Year's Eve and I'm still in that flow of recovering from Vlogmas and sleeping in all day, napping throughout the day, actually relaxing during the day, which has been so nice. And the only reason I know what day it is today is because it's New Year's Eve and I will be so honest, I just also put that together about five minutes ago. But yes, I slept in until like 10 o'clock today. It is now 12, 26 p.m. on New Year's Eve and we have pretty much zero plans today. Part of me wanted to like go out and party for New Year's Eve, but then also I actually, for the first time ever, kind of have a plan for 2024 and how I wanna live my life. And I'll get into that throughout the vlog. I don't know if it's me turning 29 in like a month essentially, but I'm feeling like an adult and I actually wanna get my life together. And I have some real plans and routines and things that I wanna fulfill this year. And while going out tonight is totally fine and it would be so much fun at the same time I personally just don't want to start off my new year hungover and with that I've decided to stay in tonight. Cal's brother's still here he's going home tomorrow we've had the family here for quite some time and with that means that the boys are downstairs watching football constantly and I don't want to interrupt their football so I made my breakfast or rather my brunch and I brought it up to my room and I'm going to enjoy it here in my crisscross chair. I've got my water let's all take five big sips. I've been hyper fixating on this breakfast I've made it every day for the past four days and I I have a feeling I won't be stopping until I'm out of stuffing. Basically what I did is I made a whole new batch of stuffing because I didn't have enough leftovers after Christmas because everyone ate it or took it home and I wasn't left with anything. So, which is fine, I encouraged people to take it home, but that meant that I didn't have enough for me. So I made a whole new batch of my cranberry sausage stuffing that is so good. And then in the morning I've been adding in some eggs making them brunch stuffing eggs. It is so good. And if you like pop the yolk here and you get some of the stuffing and you dip it in, it's like having toast, sausage, eggs, and Alicia's jam all at the same time. I also made myself a vanilla matcha latte. So I'm enjoying my brunch. And then I will get into what we're gonna get up to today, which I'm very excited about. Basically, I wanna run a lot of errands because tomorrow I wanna start off the new year on a new routinely foot. But obviously most things are closed on New Year's Day. So I'm going to get everything today in line so we can have a very productive day tomorrow. So anyways, yes. Let me enjoy my meal. I'm watching some Ava Jules vlogs, my queen, and I'll catch up with you guys after. Hello everybody. It's been two hours since I last saw you and I've just been moving at a glacial, glacial, glacial pace today. I took my sweet time getting ready and cleaning up a little bit. I ended up reorganizing my makeup randomly. I don't know why I decided to do that, but I did that. And now I am finally out and about. I think it's the weather. It's very, oh my God, is that a hawk up there? Yes, I am finally on the road and we are going to start our errands. I did want to grab some lunch though, because I'm hungry, so I stopped at In-N-Out because In-N-Out is on the way to Target. So I'm gonna grab some lunch in a minute. I also need a little caffeine boost. I had a little bit of my matcha, didn't finish it. I put it in the fridge and I'll have it iced tomorrow. You guys know me, I love a little bit of a drink and then I'm good to go. But these are the new little mini Alani new energy drinks. If you guys haven't seen, they're like half the size of a regular one, which also means it's like half the caffeine of a regular one. Also, I've been doing a lot of slick back buns lately and I have to say, I love having my hair out of my face. So here we go, we have the Alani new this is the juicy peach also in my Christmas stocking I put this cute little thing that I found on the TikTok shop I've now made a couple TikTok shop purchases and I have to say I really do like them actually this is my first impressions I have to say haven't used it but I like the idea of this it is called the tab buddy I got a few of them and I gave them to all my friends that have long nails I myself have long nails you guys know my wonderful friend Perla does my nails and she watches the vlogs hi Perla and uh, whenever I use my nails to open the can she'll text me and be like, stop doing that. So Carla, this one's for you. It's this cute little keychain that you apparently can use to <gasps> crack open all of your canned goods and then you won't break a nail, which this is actually very handy. So I'll be using this now, Perla, don't you worry. Oh my God, this girl's wearing the cutest pink sweatshirt and pink Crocs. She is so adorable. I'm gonna order my lunch. It smells absolutely amazing. I've been on an in and out kick lately and it's just so good and convenient and inexpensive. And then we're gonna go to Target. And as I told you guys, I have a plan for the new year. I don't wanna go too hard because I'm a little worried if I give myself too many things all at once 
things then I'm going to get burnt out and not stick with them and I really want to make these sustainable routine changes to my life and I don't know if you guys know this but I'm not normally like a resolutions person I'm not normally like a routine person and this next year I want to actually try and implement some changes so they're gonna be slow nothing too crazy but one thing that I want to pick up is journaling I'm also going to vision board for the new year which I've never done before so I'm excited to do that I want to pick up journaling I want to just overall take better care of myself as a whole from the inside out so I don't want to like sit down and like write a whole list of things that I want to do every day because again I think that's a little bit more unsustainable for me as someone who is not routine based and someone who is uh, not a journaler I'm just gonna try and do little things every day to take better care of myself like I want to wake up in the morning I want to wake up earlier right now I've been in this slump of waking up late you know and that's because after vlogmas I was really tired and hosting everyone I was really tired which is fine I need to get back into the groove of working out I was doing so well before vlogmas and then with vlogmas it just got a little too busy and then now I've just been in this slump so I want to get back on my workout grind I want to be cooking more for myself as I'm in the in and out line but we're gonna go grocery shopping today I want to cook more I want to find a healthy balance between everything I think that is going to be my word for 2024 balance I'm gonna order hopefully this man is okay with me vlogging myself while ordering yes balance I want to find balance between everything between work and my social life between relationships between food between working out between all the things that is my word balance so yes okay let me place my order really fast two hamburgers that are tomato wrapped with whole grilled onion and raw onion please any fries or drink with that no that'll be it to go uh to go yes thank two you two hamburgers one of the tomato wrap right yes please 767. I'm awesome. Sorry Thank, Thank you. you. No worries. Thank you so much. Other things. I want to keep up my water intake. I want to also be on top of my supplements and my hormonal things that I'm working on with my PCOS, which I'm already doing much better with. I started in June of last year or this year ish, 2023, June of 2023. So 2024 will be the first full year of seeing the specialist. And I'm excited to, you know, be able to work with her, work towards one day being ready for a baby. I think in the next few years, I'll be ready for for that so I definitely just every day want to work towards that finding the balance taking care of myself and I truly feel I know I'm an adult but I do feel like 29 I'm like okay I'm like I'm an adult adult I'm about to enter my 30s and I want to have my shit together I want to just be really confident in myself and my work and who I am as a person and I just I feel like every day I'm getting closer to that so I'm very excited but today we're going to Target because I need to go pick up some stuff just like some replenishment things from oh yeah my wonderful web developer for Cookie with Remy got her Christmas gift. I sent her the blue air wrap, which is so pretty. I'm so excited. Oh my God, yay. Hi, Ellen, if you're watching. After the holidays, we're wiped clean of like uh, foil. I need to get some laundry stuff, like fabric softener and some little, uh, the little fabric beads. I need to get dish soap. I need to get some organizing things. I need to get paper towels, toilet paper. We're like wiped clean of so many things. And then also my neighbors for Christmas, I had two neighbors come over and bring one bra a little basket of muffins and then another one brought a plate of like delicious bread and then I was just so busy I didn't have time to make them anything or buy them anything so I've decided I ordered them some Kayla's cake macarons which I showed you guys in the last vlog it was an amazing small business and then I think I'm also going to bake them some cookies as well some homemade chocolate chip cookies so I need to grab some stuff for that I want to get like little plates or like a you know a holiday situation for that so yes that is what's on the list I am pulling up to the burger in a minute one second um, all right, in and out haul. I mean, you guys saw what I got. I ordered it with raw onions. I think he didn't hear me. And then I ended up uh, not asking for them because I figured uh, I'd have really oniony breath all day. So I got two of the same thing. I just got two hamburgers that are tomato wrapped with the whole grilled onion. Oh my God, it's so juicy. Mm-hmm. Basically it's just tomato, onion, and meat oh but they season their meat so well it's so good i have to like really actively try to not eat in two bites all right i'm gonna enjoy these and i'll see you guys at target made it to target lord knows i don't need another rope this is so cute and me it feels like barefoot dreams it's like a short little blue one i love it i need a couple of these little shallow oh these like little perfect like small little ones for one of my drawers that i just organized the last big one i need oh perfect 
these little short guys. I need some new baskets to hold all the dog stuff for that uh, built-in that just got built. I think this should be good. I need something deep because we have a lot of leashes and a lot of harnesses and dog things everywhere. It's also time to start taking down all the Christmas decor. Oh my God, it's empty. I have a bunch of these already in storage, but they're empty. So we need to take them out of storage to start packing things up. But I did accumulate a lot more stuff this season. So I'm definitely gonna need more of them and they're on sale. Oh, this one's like for a tree. These are nice and big. I'm not sure how I'm gonna get them out, but I do need some of these. I think this one might be a two person job. So I'll have Cal come back with me in a couple days to be able to help me carry those out because the cart will not be able to fit them right now. <laughs> Looking for the really long aluminum foil. This one's a game changer when you're cooking for the holidays. Mm. Very much into paradise. Oh gosh, it's heavy. Always need some backup scrub mommies because the mommies are better than the daddies. Need some refills on hand of our dish soap. Looking for dishes to serve my neighbor's cookies on. I'll just let you rest on the paper towels for a second. They don't have anything like too themed. I see some like cute wooden stuff, but it's like $30 a plate. I found these for five bucks. It's just a dinner plate, but I feel like the cookies like wrapped in cellophane could be cute. Nice thick quality for five bucks. Made it to the grocery store. Look at this cute Hello Kitty tote that I have. And we are just doing some replenishments of things. We're all out of box mac and cheese, which is like one of my favorite easy meals to make when, you know, I don't feel like cooking. So these ones are for Cal and I'm gonna find the gluten-free dairy-free ones for me. Call me crazy, but I prefer rice broccoli over rice cauliflower any day. I'm gonna get a couple of these. Ooh, we got mashed cauliflower too. That sounds actually pretty good. I'm gonna try this one. Alexia. I also love a little frozen fry. Makes it really easy. I got the steak fries and then also these crinkle cut sweet potato fries. Also, these are those cauliflower hash browns that I love making like an avocado toast with. I love me a frozen veggie. Ooh, sweet potato toast. Sweet potato croutons. Uh, I want to try that. I mean, I think it's just a cubed sweet potato to be honest. So I think I'll make my own, but fun idea. There are just so many options for box mac and cheese. I'm an Annie's girl, but I've heard this one's good. Maybe I'll try this one too. Got the mac and cheese some onions and then some veggies. I got some Chinese eggplant, bok choy, and broccoli. And then also got some new coffee creamers because I'm almost done with my Calafia Farms peppermint mocha, my second bottle of that. And I've been really liking trying different brands. I got their non-dairy sweet creamy and then their non-dairy caramel macchiato. I still love my nut pods. I love the Calafia Farms. I just want to try different ones. And this is Chobani. Getting some spinach. Oh, these are like little baby oranges. Cuties, that's what I wanted. <gasps> they're so cute. I think they're in season. Too. I want to do my dairy-free, gluten-free, like Alfredo sauce, but made out of cashews. So I'm getting some from the bulk bin. What a beautiful stream of sun we have coming through the back of the car. Okay, guys, I ran all my errands in my little bag here. I put in some necessities. I have here my hand sanitizer. So just going to sanitize those hands. And then also I have a little lip balm, a little lash curler, some sunscreen, and then a little roller perfume, which in and out is so good, but I do feel like I always just smell like like meat after. So just a little, little bit on. This is that uh, clean water-based perfume that I got in the last vlog. And I really like it. The scent is nectarine petal. I will say it wears off pretty quickly, but I feel like that is, you know, the issue that you have with a, a water base, but I really do like it. Now I'm in the car. I have my little tangerines. I packed up all the groceries. I'm gonna eat a tangerine on the way home. Oh my God, Captain Cutie. It's the little things. That's adorable. I'm gonna peel this, eat this on the way home. And then also in there, I found this drink here, which is that light annoying people? Sorry, maybe if I turn it that way, is that better? That That's a little better, right? Nope, she's still there. Perhaps I will flip around in the parking lot. One second. I'm back. Okay, I literally just flipped around in the spot that I was in. Okay, I've heard so many podcast ads about this drink here. I like Liquid Death already. They're the canned waters. They have like the sparkling water, the regular water. It feels interesting to drink like regular still water out of a can, but I like it, honestly. But I hear so many podcast ads about this one. This is called the Rest in Peach. It's an iced tea. So they made iced teas now. And if you guys no, I love iced tea. It's like one of my favorite drinks to get. I love a lemonade. I love an iced tea. I'm now more into sodas, but for the longest time, I was really only drinking like water, iced tea, and lemonade. So yes, I'm curious if it's carbonated or not. If it's carbonated, I don't think I'm gonna like a carbonated iced tea, but putting this thing to work today, here we go. This is their peach flavor. I also got an Arnold Palmer for Cal because he loves Arnold Palmer's. 
Oh, that's delicious. Mmm. Very peachy flavor, not carbonated. I actually love this so much. That's actually so good. It's a little, little sweet. It's just like a little bit sweet. I actually prefer like completely unsweet tea, but it's just the smallest amount sweet. It's not too sweet at all. Where's my tangerine? Here she is. Allegedly, it's in season. Let's see if they're good. Ooh, I love the little like spritz of juice. When is tangerine season? Tangerines are typically in their prime from late October through January. Beautiful. Also, I wanted to talk to you guys. I forgot some stuff about my routine. As I said earlier, I'm not a routine girl. I've talked about this on Pretty Basic too. Like I've always wanted to be a routine person. I'm just not. And I want to become one. As I said, everything from like gym to work to relationships, all those things. I just want to, I want to have it down on lock. And another thing that falls into that is a skincare routine. I am the worst at keeping up routines in all regards, skincare included. I'll always start skincare routines and then I completely fall off of them. I got all that new Korean skincare. So I want to work that into my skincare routine. I want to walk the dogs more. I want to do all the things. Even though the dogs don't like walking, I'm like, even if it's just around the block, add it to the routine. Comment down below. Let me know, you guys. Are you routine people? Are you not? Every time I go on vacation with somebody, like from Cal to Alicia to whoever, they're always like, oh, I can't wait to get home and get back to my routine. And I'm like, uh-huh, that would be nice. Also, this year, I want to take charge in the workplace. Obviously, as you guys know, I'm already a boss. I have multiple employees. And I feel like it's taken me a long time to find my voice and to figure out also kind of like what kind of boss I want to be to to find my leadership skills next year or this year. Sorry, I keep going back and forth because right now when I'm filming this, it's the 31st, but tomorrow it's the first. I'm going to say this year. This year, I already have so many things lined up. You guys have already kind of guessed some of the stuff and there are big projects that I'm working on as well as I want to maintain my, all my normal channels, my YouTube channels, my TikTok, my Instagrams, all those things. Like I want to keep those obviously running and, and growing and then also adding new things onto the play on top of Pretty Basic, on top of all the other stuff. I need to be able to lead my teams and make sure everything is running smoothly and deadlines aren't missed and things like that. So I want to work on that this year as well too. I feel like I put the work in last year to be able to reap the benefits this year. And on top of that, wedding planning. Oh my God. We actually secured our wedding planner and we have our first meeting with him on Thursday, which I'm going to film the whole process for you guys. As you guys know, Cal and I are not getting married for a while, but we're beginning the wedding planning process, which is very, very exciting. I love our planner. He's amazing. He's actually from like pretty much the same hometown as I am. He's Korean. He is amazing. I love him. I'm super excited about that. But since we're not getting married for a while, I don't want to start posting like too much wedding stuff too early on because I just understand that's going to be, you know, a lot if I'm posting things every week for like a year and a half to two years. People are going to be over it. <laughs> and I totally get that. So I am going to document the whole process. And then later on when it's closer to the wedding, see if I feel like posting, you know, like maybe like a little series or something leading up to the wedding. I'm not 100% sure. I'll have to, whoa, look at all the footage, you know, at next next year. Don't worry. I'm still going to vlog bits and bobs here and there. So you guys will be included on the journey, but most of it I'm going to hold and decide later if I want to do anything with it. My one thing that I do want to do though, sorry, I'm so chatty today. I've just been home with Cal and his brother and all we've been doing is watching movies and sitting in silence. So like, I just needed to chat it out. The one thing I feel strongly about my bachelorette trip is going to be wild and I will be filming it like a reality show. <laughs> I want scripted drama. I want confessionals. I want like, like all the things. I want it to be so hilariously funny and I want to film it like a reality show. I already talked to the guy that produced the Vlogmas intro this year. He loved the idea. I was like, I will fly you to where we're going and I will, I would just love to just have something to look back on and laugh at and like have everybody come over to my house one night and watch it like with all the real housewives music and stuff. Will I post that actually to the internet? I'm not sure, but I at least want to like watch it all together just because I think it'll be funny. That's the only thing I know so far. All right, let's go home. Ollie's actually coming over soon and we're going to go see the Sydney Sweeney movie which I already saw, but I want to see it again. And we're going to do a little date. Let's go. Of course, I finished that clip and then the sun sets. And now the lighting is, is beautiful and even again, <laughs> of course. Come on, Raina. Want to go to a beach somewhere? Drink yes. a spicy margarita. Um, Make some bad decisions. Yes. <laughs> We are back home after seeing the movie. It was so good. That was my second time seeing it in like two days. I love it. I think I'm honestly all like movie theatered out for anyone but you specifically, but I love the movie. It's so cute. And now I'm home. It's going to be midnight in like two hours or so. And I wanted to take a bath and relax a little bit. So I saw these bath bombs on TikTok. They're from Lush. So I placed an order online and I bought quite a few of them and they all came like wrapped up like this, but they are 
so cute. So I'm using it for special occasions. I have here the bath bomb. It's a little star. I think it was like their winter one. So there's like a snowflake on it. Oh my God, it's so pretty. So it's pink, if you can see. And it has a little blue snowflake star on top. And then actually on the inside, I think it's supposed to open. Yeah, if you open it, there's like little confetti on the inside. It's adorable. So intricate and pretty. Put her in there. Let her soak. Gorgeous. Oh, I washed my makeup brushes, so this was air drying, now it's clean. And on my little bath tray, I have my phone stand because I'll either like watch YouTube videos or TikToks or put my Kindle on there and read in the bathtub. And then I have this candle that Ollie got me a couple years ago. It's the replica Lazy Sunday Morning. And I got my lighter here. That's like a, it's like a mini blowtorch, honestly. It's like a really heavy duty lighter. There we go. Nice and relaxing. Oh my God, look at the confetti. So cute. I'm gonna relax and unwind before the new year. Hello guys! Okay, let me sit down and let's have a little chit chat. I'm also going to crack open one of these little baby energy drinks. I'm really into the little half guys. And by really into, I mean this is the second time ever that I'm having it. The first time I think we did it together. But here they are. Sorry, Perla, I didn't get my thing, but I didn't break a nail, I promise. Hello, guys. Okay, I have so much to catch you up on. Well, actually, not really. Some stuff to catch you up on. I'm breaking out a lot on my chin right now. I've got some hormonal things going on, so disregard. But hello. Okay, the last time I talked to you guys was on New Year's Eve, which I took a bath, came down, Cal and I rang in the New Year with Sam, and then went to bed. And then yesterday, I had every idea of uh, waking up and hitting the ground running, but I decided with Cal to actually just take it as a really chill day because Cal's brother went home in the morning, Sam, and then Cal came home from the airport and we realized we had not had a day to just chill with each other, hang out with each other, spend time with each other, even like watch movies and things at night since November. Because if you guys watched Vlogmas, I was so go, 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 go. And then anytime I had free time at night, I would spend the time editing the vlog instead of actually like hanging out with Cal. So we hadn't had any quality time. Then his family came into town, obviously. Christmas was going on. His brother was here until yesterday. So yesterday was our first day that we could actually just spend time together, which was really nice. We ended up just like hanging out the whole day, watching movies, we caught up on suits. We finally made it to season nine. It was so good. And then this morning, now it's officially January 2nd, I woke up and hit the ground running. I immediately woke up to a bunch of work texts. Like everyone came back from break with vengeance. I had some work stuff that I had to do. And then I have just been kind of like cleaning around the house a little bit, but I'm about to tackle like more of the, the bigger things. Laundry, organizing, all that kind of stuff. We're officially gonna put all of the Christmas decor away tomorrow. So that's gonna take a while. But yes, those are the updates. I woke up this morning and just hit the ground running and I am ready for a wonderful year. Last night, I incorporated some of my new little tactics that I wanna do. And the main, main thing that I really wanna work on this year is at night, I don't wanna be scrolling on my phone right before bed. And I also don't wanna wake up and look at my phone and start scrolling my phone and have that be the first thing I do in the morning. So last night, I ended up making my little sleepy time cocktail. I did a little tart cherry juice, a little magnesium, a little cranberry fizz poppy, and I knocked out. Instead of scrolling on my phone before bed, I feel like I'm talking really fast. <gasps> Breathe, Remy. Instead of scrolling on my phone before bed, I read my Kindle and I finished a book that I've been reading for a long time and then I finally went to bed. And then this morning I woke up and actually did my morning routine without you know, looking at my phone the whole time, which was very, very nice. So I've had a wonderful morning. I am going to continue on with all my little tasks and I thought that I would take you guys along with me for some of them. So let's get into it. Mm. Oh, wait, and tonight, as I said, I'm going to be a journaling slash manifesting Manifestation girly this year, and that includes making my own manifestation vision board for 2024. So tonight we're gonna throw a little party and Murph, Alicia, and Ollie are gonna come over. Cal's obviously here, and we are going to do a little manifestation vision boarding night. I need to go to the store and get some stuff. Alicia's grabbing all the magazines, and I've got some stuff here already, but we need to go get like some glue and all the cute stuff, stickers at uh, Michael's. So we'll go do that soon. And yes, let's get on with this organization. New angle unlocked. Let's get to organization. Organizing here. Luna, do you want to be on camera? Come here. <laughs> All right, let's speed through it. Hello all, 
it is later. Okay guys, I've been doing little chores around the house. Hi vlog. <laughs> and I am currently making our turkey, which if you guys didn't know, I'm making another turkey because we didn't really have any turkey leftovers after Christmas and we've been wanting turkey leftovers. So I've got a turkey, but I had to wait a few days for it to thaw. So it's finally baking in the oven. I did my cooking with Remy turkey recipe and now I'm also making homemade chocolate chip cookies. These are my cakey chocolate chip cookies also on cooking with Remy. I did just milk chocolate though versus the milk and savvy sweet that I normally do because these are going to the neighbors and there are kids across the street and I feel like kids just love milk chocolate and don't love like a dark semi-sweet as much. I mean, I might be generalizing, but I feel like most kids like milk chocolate. I didn't appreciate dark chocolate till I became an adult. How about you? Agreed. Agreed? Okay, sweet. I was trying to make the right decision. So I made the dough. I'm gonna let this chill overnight and then I'll bake it tomorrow and then we'll run them over to the neighbors. Oh, you guys saw that earlier in the vlog. And yes, now I'm going to run to Michael's and pick up some little things for tonight so that we can do our little vision boards. Cal is going to join us, which is so exciting. I also doubled the batch because we're getting it to two of the neighbors and wanted to make sure I had enough to make the cookies nice and big and delicious. So Cal's gonna stay and watch the turkey in the oven while I run to the store. So let's go. Let's get it. I feel like these are a nice size. 12 by 16. There we go. Pack six on sale. I actually needed some cardstock too and glitter paper. This is so pretty. <gasps> the pinks, the blues. Okay, I'm gonna get some of these. I just had so much fun going through all the stickers and I got so many different fun ones. I got some like little daisies. I wish there were more options. I got these cooking ones, some blue hydrangeas. I got some like letters. I wish they had more like specialty ones, but they are kind of out of a lot, but still really cute. Found this cute little shimmery table cover for the night. I also bought Mod Podge. Haven't bought Mod Podge in like a decade. Okay guys, we are back from the craft store. I also have an order from Amazon of some stuff that I got. And then whatever we don't use, I'm just gonna return to either Michael's or Amazon. But I saw people online were making them with the little uh, easels. And I guess it's like easier to visually see everything. So we've got the easels. I'm gonna set everything up. I also got these like smaller canvases online. So we'll just let people pick if they wanna do small or big. And then we also got glue sticks in case we needed any glue sticks. I got these easels. But you know it's hard to tell online how big something's gonna be. Like sometimes people buy a chair online and it comes and it's this little. Same thing with these easels. I think we're definitely gonna have to go for the larger ones, but I'm glad I got a backup option. I also got some little rhinestone stickers and then also all of these little, they're kind of chewy, but like little stickers I thought were cute. I feel like everyone's going for more of a, a trendy vibe, but I just thought they were like sweet, like little scrapbooking stickers. So I'll put these out and see if anybody wants them. And then I also I found this kit online. It's called Daily Dopamine. And I think it's like a bunch of different little papers and like cutouts and things that you can use. Like a little pre-made kit, if you will. Oh, cute. They're literally four vision boards. All right, we got this like booklet here. Oh, this is so you can put your own stuff inside, I think. That's cute. All right, so it comes with that. And then these are what I really wanted, these little cards. Alicia's bringing a ton of magazines. So we'll be covered on that front. Oh, cute, but they're like these little cards really nice material cards and they have a bunch of different things on there. So I will spread those all out, but let's let's set up the table together, shall we? Hello, okay, I'm back. I ended up doing it off camera and I filmed a TikTok of me decorating everything. So if you guys wanna watch that, go check out my TikTok, Mr. Me Ashton. But here she is. I mean, it's not the cutest thing in the world, but it is functional and it's gonna be so much fun. I brought out the big easels for these ones. There were only four easels in that kit and Cal wants to do one as well. So my uncle David actually gave me this little recipe book stand, which is perfect. So so brought that out, Cal can have this one. And then I put the little colored wine glasses out so we can drink our poppy in the wine glasses. And then on the table, it is just covered with so many fun little cards. These little cards from uh, Amazon were so cute. I'll link it down below for you guys if you wanna see. Oh my God, like a little avocado toast, like so adorable. I just spread those out as well as all of my little stickers from Stuck On You Designs from one of the small businesses for Vlogmas. I thought these would be cute to add. We also have, <gasps> Alicia's gonna want this little wiener dog for sure. We've got all the rhinestones, the glitter glue, the Mod Podge, the paper, all the stickers, everything out and people can just, you know, pile through it. We have like an hour before the turkey is ready to be basted and like 30 minutes before everyone comes. So let's go organize our makeup. Okay, I don't know if I ever showed you guys, but I was keeping all of my everyday makeup slash products that I was reaching for in a little like bin here on the top of my desk. But I've decided to change my layout and just put all of my everyday 
everyday products in this top drawer right here. So you guys saw yesterday, I went to Target and I just picked up these little bright room clear acrylic bins. Uh, I can't be bothered to take the stickers off right now. So I'm just gonna organize with the stickers on, but I'm just gonna try and find a little organization in this drawer. So here is the before. Ta-da! Okay, not anything crazy and all this stuff is so dirty because I use it all the time. I wish I got like a little skinny tray here, but honestly, I think it's totally fine. They all fit there nicely. I went prep and prime over here. We've got like primers and like my little illuminators and blur drops and things like that. Here we have foundations and concealers. Back here we have powders. This is like setting powder, blush, bronzer, cream products here, cream blush, cream contour, liquid products, eyeshadow palettes here, and then all of my other random things. Fresh product. We've got liquid liner, lip balm, lip liner, mascara, eyebrow stuff, and that is my everyday makeup. Everyone's here! Yay! <laughs> Here's the thing: we walk in and we go, Remy, and she goes, "What? I just, I just bought canvases. This is not just." And then Alicia pulls canvases. out three hundred magazines. Yeah, no. Let's talk about the magazines. Cal, Alicia got you some straight boy magazines. I did. How hey, nice is she? Go. Look at this, and Alicia got me a wedding magazine. I'm just gonna Cal. put my face on that. Oh yeah, me, Cal too. <laughs> just my face and I'm done. Look at this selection. I can't, she, she got like 30 magazines. Really this is did. crazy of you. And Beyonce, obviously. She will, will meet, meet her this she'll year. Meet her. You are, her you're gonna meet her. Updates, I have made lots of progress. I'm actually pretty much almost no, done. You, <laughs> I'm actually pretty much I, almost done. I literally <laughs> just put the background on. <laughs> Fun fact about me, I'm a very quick worker when it comes to things. She said I'm, I'm done. Follow me to um, Color Me Mine. I'll be done hours before everybody else. It looks but... like a perfect Pinterest board. Thank yeah. you, babe. It's so cute. I love this so much. I'm just finishing up with like little finishing touches. Everyone's doing theirs. Cal, can I show yours? Sure. Cal's looks Mine so looks good. Horrible. No, Murph, let's see yours. Yes, babe. <laughs> no, so Cal's, or Murph just has hot men on there. Alicia's mod podging. We're working on We're it. We're back in 2015, you two. No, literally, this feels like my 2015 like Tumblr. We're all We're presenting. Yes. <laughs> this is my vision. Oh, part. bitch, that looks amazing. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, it's so beautiful. So the center quote says, that's why we create art. That's why we consume art to fuck. <laughs> and here are all of our boards. They're so cute. I love that everyone's, you can tell specifically whose is whose. Hal, I didn't know you wanted a baby blue Birkin. <laughs> all right, guys, on that note, I'm going to end the vlog. I love you so much. I'll see you in the next one.